Mirrors, and he's like, no. <laughs> the Orbeez. <laughs> Little Orbeez remind me of that where he just like hits you with it and then you like die like off stage because mm -hmm. of it. That, that's what like uh, King Ark did earlier. Or I, I tried to do. Oh, you're talking about like with the Crash Bomber. Yes. Okay. Alright, well, starting out, Sinji getting some good uh, grab damage and then retreating to his fortress. He has to do a, a traditionally pretty good uh, Pac Man stage. The PS2 platforms, um, I mean, great for just. You know, it's, it's great real estate. I'm not quite sure what happened there. I'm surprised he didn't just DI to the stage or air dodge to the stage. Yeah. I think I think he was afraid that Sinji was going to read that. Mm hmm. Now King Ark off stage once again. Coming out with the Leaf Shield, the Olive Garden. The Olive Garden? Unlimited salads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but here comes Sinji's true patented uh, hydrant um, setups. I think, honestly, uh, I don't think it would be too effective against Mega Man because Mega Man can just hit it from really far away. Um, but I'm pretty sure Sinji knows that. Yeah. I mean, Sinji did get a pretty nice punish there mm -hmm. uh, off of the hydrant. And the hydrant separating them. Ooh, there we go. F smash catching Sinji's landing. And then King Ark was maybe looking for another uh, ledge trump there. Yeah. Which almost got Sinji's uh, first stock just a little bit ago, but not quite. Ooh, uncharged oh. F smash actually not uh, not enough to break the hydrant. I didn't actually get them to go for that for the F smash against the hydrant. First of all, I didn't think it, I didn't think that it was not gonna not break. <laughs> But um, I don't think Sinji actually reacted fast enough because I don't think we expected him to um, hit Hydrant from that close. Because mm -hmm. you saw Sinji try uh, his, his grab, but it was just so far. Yep, great Crash Bomber extension there, getting that mm -hmm. back air. Ooh, King Ark actually had really good awareness right there uh, using the Hydrant Water to uh, set himself up for that uh, down air, but somehow the Uppy beat it out. I don't know if anyone saw this, but King Ark was stunned by the bell, and he was stuck, like, in the air. Yeah, since he wasn't and since he didn't. quite sure. Ooh. I was just surprised he got, he got hit by it. I didn't think he did. I really like what King Ark did there with the Leaf Shield, where mm -hmm. uh, he kind of went in and just kind of poked at Sinji's shield, and then decided, okay, you're not getting hit. I'm, I'll walk away. My bad. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> Let me walk away. But again, both players, are, they have this, um, like, setup kind of play style. Mm -hmm. And you can see he and King Ark always has the Metal Blade in his hand. Because he's going to throw it, and then you're going to be distracted by it, and he's going to go right up to you. Ooh, looking for a Z-drop. Mm -hmm. There. I'm going to find it. King Ark has just not been able to close out Sinji's uh, stocks while Sinji's been really just able to nickel and dine King Ark up to, you know, lapping him in percent. Sinji, oh. Sinji for a second had both the fruit and the metal blade. It was like, huh? Entirely <laughs> too powerful. All you need is Didi's uh, banana. <laughs> Finish it out. <laughs> Throw a Rob Gyro in there. That's evil. <laughs> but here we go. We got the bell in the hand. I think, oh, and the bell's gone. Yeah, King Ark was actually, I think, looking to pick it up with that air dodge, but mm -hmm. it disappeared just a little bit too fast. All right, Metal Blade to block the Apple from being any more of a threat. I think Apple could, yeah, Apple's definitely killing at this uh, percentage. Oh, definitely. Ooh. Oh, <gasps> King Ark tried to punish the, the But grab. the Apple was still there. Yeah. Oh my god. If y'all had seen my face, oh my god. <laughs> I spoke it into existence. That was crazy. I mean, I was really smart. Because Sinji had both, okay, Sinji had literally both sides covered. He, he was did. like, are you going to come behind me? Well, the thing is, King Ark went in for a gra <laughs> King Ark went in for a grab instead of any, uh, you know, yeah. projectile or disjoint or anything like that. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. It was just there. And then he got hit by it. Damn. All right, running it right back oh, to PS2. Lemon's to PS2. actually going to be breaking the hydrant there. All right, nice ledge trump. We saw that uh, in the first stock of game one, and King Art didn't really get a chance to do it again. 
A lot of projectiles coming out. Ooh, the, the hitbox extended off of the power pellet. That was sick. A pretty quick zero to death by King Arc. Mm -hmm. And it, it just keeps coming. All right, finally, Sinji getting his hit in and getting some momentum back on his side. Sinji said, no more no more setups. I'm going <laughs> in. <laughs> and Sinji tried getting, uh, getting that same uh, kill as uh, King Arc, but he didn't really hit yet. <laughs> the Galaka Metal Blade combo. Sinji at 60 right now, but has been able to rack up some serious percentage of his own on King Arc. Mm -hmm. He came back on stage for, like, blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's really smart, using um, Mega Man's, like... The, the air shooter? Air shooter, yeah. Yeah, it's actually because uh, it you know goes through the Hydra and is, is still able to threaten the Pac-Man, where, whereas usually... Pac-Man's really just able to hydrant you if you're below him like that. Nice patience with the Metal Blade. Oof. Looking for a normal ledge trap set up there, but a back throw from Pac-Man. Gonna be taking King Arc's second stock. Sinji is at about 140 right now. I actually think King Arc might have actually been trying to break the Hydrant there. He recognized that Sinji had put a lot of damage into it and tried to throw the Metal Blade at it. Mm -hmm. But Sinji was a little bit quicker on the draw. King Arc off stage now. But Good job avoiding that Hydrant. Yep, find his way back to center stage yep. and find a kill of his own. Sinji now on his last stock of game two. It's been a good game by both play a good play to both players. I'm like that bell. <laughs> Again, I think Sinji is like straight up saying uh, the setup is not working. I and I think it's because Pac-Man's a projectile character. He's not gonna run up, run up swing and hit it. Right. He's gonna use his projectiles. Yeah, I think a a lot in this game too. We haven't been able to see. A lot of Sinji's, you know, trap play that we're used, so used to seeing, because mm -hmm. Mega Man just doesn't have to, he doesn't have to bite the bait at all. Oh, he just barely missed the bell. Ooh, all right, I'm trying to see if um, King Arc is trying, is trying to just hit the Hydrant while it's packed up. Oh. If King Arc was able to get that, like, uh, F tilt walking lemons into the bell, into like a uppercut or something, I would have walked. <gasps> no. That's so unfortunate. Not no. Like that. What happened? He leaf shielded off stage. That's Wasn't so unfortunate. Wasn't able to recover for it. Yeah, I think it's right here, right? Yep. No. There he goes. No, I think he's. I'll yeah, he, he does. Uh, he does uppy. Oh, but he got hit? The, the uh -huh. F-Tilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Down angled F-Tilt was uh, extended by the Hydrant. Mm -hmm. I know, <laughs> but I, I, I want me to make sure I got it, like, you know. Yeah, and I think uh, oh, right here. King Arc was expecting yeah. to hit the ledge, probably, and was maybe looking for a double jump leaf shield. Or maybe oh, just no. thought he had his leaf shield there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way we all had to zoom my man pay like that. That's, that was uncalled. For. That was really that was really unfortunate though. Like I actually feel for him. That's a really know, unfortunate he, way. To, he was like, doing so good in that game too. Mm -hmm. Started off with a zero to death and kept the momentum in his favor like the whole game. But And then one miss input. I know he mad. Oh.